up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. And today I've got my hands on a brand new member to the G-Shock family. So a lot of you have been waiting for this video, so here it finally is. And this video is probably the first real hands-on of the latest Casio G-Shock Move model number GBD H1000. So here is the packaging. You can see I've got the white, black and green version. G-Shock logo on the front. Here's the model number GBD H1000. You've got some graffiti design on the sides. Now, this is of course the first G-Shock watch to actually have an optical heart rate sensor. It's also jam-packed with features, including a smartphone app allowing you to sync all your fitness data. So you have the same rugged build and features that we have come to expect from G-Shock watches. But this time, Casio have introduced a new breed, a completely new smartwatch geared towards a more active lifestyle. So first of all, let's get this box open, shall we? If we slide this insert out, you can see more G-Shock logos and branding, shock resistant, and that's pretty much it. So let's get this open now. Here it is. Very nicely presented. You can see on the side, GPS, heart rate, smartphone link, WR20 bar, dual charging system, solar powered and USB charging. And of course, I'm going into detail about all the specs. If you're wondering why the watch is on, I have actually opened the box because I couldn't wait. So I've had a quick look at it already. And that's why the watch is on at the moment. So if I just take off G-Shock, Casio GBDH1000, the real deal. It's even got the price tag on it. US, 399 US dollars, people. Plastic. Okay, let's see what else you get inside the box. I'll put the watch on the side for now. Okay, you've got a small white box and then you open it. You will see your paperwork international warranty card, user manual, etc. And the actual charging cable. So let's have a look at the charging cable. It's a slightly different charging cable from what we've seen in the past. So it's basically a USB charger. So you just align the charger pins and go ahead and give it a push. So that's in place. You can now charge this up with any five watt charger and the watch will take around 2.5 hours to fully charge. And we will talk about the battery life a little bit later in the video. So here it is, guys. The watch is in my hands. Now let's talk about the build quality. The watch is made from a stainless steel case, partly covered all the way around with resin. The GPS antenna is also located behind the bezels. The glass on top is actually mineral crystal. Now this watch is, of course, shock resistant, ultra durable, as we expect from the G-Shock range, and 200 meters water resistant. Now let's talk about dimensions. The watch case is 55 millimeters in diameter and 63 millimeters lug to lug. You have a thickness of 20.4 millimeters and the watch weighs 101 grams. Now you've got the G-Shock logo on top and you can see all of these hex screws going all the way around. Now the first button you see on this side is for light. So when you press it, it will turn on the backlight and the buttons themselves are actually made from resin and they have a nice grippy texture to them, which definitely feels very nice to the touch. Now you can adjust the backlight to stay on for one second or three seconds. And there is also an option for the light to turn on automatically every time you lift your hand up in the dark. Now each button you can see is labeled clearly. So this is the back button. So if you go into any of the other options, you can back out with this button. Now this button over here, again, resin with grippy texture is a mode button so when you press it you'll be able to change from the different modes and i'll quickly actually talk about the modes so this is the main screen if you will so on the top you can see the day and the date you've got the time in the center battery life in the bottom corner and the seconds are also counting down now if we kind of zoom in i hope i can show you this right at the bottom now, if I was wearing the watch, it would constantly be checking my heart rate, but I've taken the watch off. And you can see 
Bluetooth is connected. So I've actually connected with my smartphone. This does support both Android and iOS. I've actually connected with my iPhone. At the top where it says Sunday, just above that you can see notifications. So I have notifications that need to be read. That is the explanation of the main screen. If I press mode once, you have a page dedicated to your heart rate. Again, I've taken the watch off, but there you go. The first G-Shock with an optical heart rate all day scanner. Another cool feature is these green parts over here. Now, when you wear the watch, what that does is it keeps the watch in place. So the watch is not going to move around on your wrist. These two green parts ensure of it. And that means you get a proper, nice, accurate reading on that heart rate sensor. Now, if we press mode again, so this is basically your workouts. It will show you your sets. It will show you your total time taken and it will constantly check your heart rate. If we keep going, you've got a stopwatch. And this is actually a 100 hour stopwatch. And again, your heart rate will show on nearly every page, which is pretty cool. If we press it again, you've got a digital compass. How useful is that going to be? If we press it again, you've got your activity page. This will show you your total activities like time, distance, pace and ascent. OK, if we press mode again, you've got your training status and there's no training status as we're in lockdown. I haven't actually had a chance to go and do some training um, or go for a walk or anything like that. So if we keep going, you've got notifications. So this watch supports notifications from your smartphone. So you can click on it and you can read your notifications and so on and so forth. If I press back and continue, that will bring you back to the main screen. So that was basically a quick run through of what the system menus look like. Over here, you have a run button. Now, what's interesting about the run button is it's made from metal with a metal ring, but the inner black layer is actually made from resin. So again, it does feel quite nice to the touch. It looks the business as well. So if you press run, you can actually start a run straight away. So it says now receiving press to start before GPS positioning is completed. If I press it again, it's ready to start a run and you can see the time has gone. So technically I should be running right now, but obviously I'm not. So you got there split time, distance, pace, and you can see the GPS flashing in the top right hand corner. It shows you your battery life, pace, everything. So let's stop this workout because it's not happening. Resume, save or delete. So up and down keys is this or this. So you will go to delete and then we we'll press this button in the middle to select. So I got rid of my fake workout that I just did. Now over here at the top is your display. So you have a few different screens you can look at. So that's your main screen. Press it again. You've got your achievement and daily steps. So you can see if I zoom in again, you've got the local time and date at the bottom. If I press it again, here's your VO2 max levels. It's not done anything yet because I've not been active at all. You've got your monthly achievements. And if you press it again, you've got another layout which shows you your heart rate at the top. It shows you your maximum and minimum. And this is a constant heart rate. So it's going to be checking your heart rate throughout the day. You've got the date and time at the bottom as well. And if you choose to leave it on that, you can leave it on that display and it will stay there until you change. Now, if you press it again, here's another layout. Now you actually have 38 different time zones that you can set it to. And I actually did not even set the time on this watch. It automatically set itself. As soon as I connected to the smartphone app, it did what it needed to do. And the date and time automatically adjusted itself. If you press it once more, you're back to the main display. So that was a quick run through of the buttons and the display. Now on the back, you have stainless steel and a heart rate sensor and the charger pins. Now the actual watch band, is made from soft urethane, which basically feels like silicone with plenty of ventilation holes. So a quick look at the watch on my wrist. So this is how it looks. And um, there's a completely different feeling when you're wearing a Casio G-Shock. It's a, it's, a it's a real beast. It's not like any of those smartwatches you see nowadays. This is the real deal. If you're looking for a rugged, durable smartwatch, jam packed with a lot of features. Now we're talking about vibration alerts. You've got solar assisted charging. So this watch will automatically charge whilst you're out and about in sunlight. And it also supports USB charging as I showed you earlier. Now it takes 2.5 hours to fully charge this watch up, but the battery life will blow your mind. It's got a 34 month battery life in normal mode using in the dark and with power save on. 
and you can achieve 12 months battery life without power save mode on or 18 hours of training function with intermittent GPS and heart rate sensor or you can achieve 14 hours of training with GPS and heart rate sensor constantly on. So battery life as expected is definitely awesome. And this time I decided to go for a different color. I like the white band. I wanted this color as it's more blatant that I've got the new watch on. Otherwise my other choice was all black, but I definitely like what I've chosen. It looks nice. Now you've also got a built-in GPS GLONASS. The smartwatch features five real-time sensors, which include optical heart rate sensor, which basically detects blood flow under the skin and measures your heart rate at the same time. There is also a magnetic sensor, pressure sensor, and thermo sensors. So these miniature sensors take measurements of compass bearing, altitude, barometric pressure, and temperature and you have a 100 hour stopwatch. Now the auto meter can also be collaborated with the built-in GPS. Definitely a plus point. And the training function will measure your distance, heart rate and pace. So that's the main page. If we click on mode, you've got your heart rate sensor. If you click display, you get two ways of looking at that. As you can see. So you can have a simple view or you can go into detail. So here's your altimeter, click display, you go to barometer, click display, you go back to the compass, and so on and so forth. So that's how you change between the sensors. If you click mode again, you've got your training status, click display, and you've got your VO2 max levels. And click display again, recovery time, and back to training status. That brings you back to the main page. So let's have a quick look at the smartphone app. Okay, so here is my iPhone and the app is called the G-Shop Move app and it's not available yet. I have everything in beta right now. So once you set up and pair up, this is what you're going to see. It will help you get started with user guides, training status and dynamic planning. If you scroll up, here's your VO2 max information, but I haven't done any training, so you're not going to get much out of that. You've got your distance goals, total time, life log, and you can see some movement there. I haven't been totally lifeless. So 3,511 steps so far. My target per day is 8,000. That's what I've set. And you can see your calories burnt, your target, and how much I have completed both. You can actually customize that home and add and remove things accordingly. Now, if you click on activity, it will give you a one week, one month, and three month at a glance. Again, VO2 max, training load. And here's your April goal completion average heart rate, distance, average pace, total ascent. So you can see how detailed this is. Now, if you click on history, so you can see under history, there's no data. And when you click on plan, so my current plan is maintain fitness. And I ask for an optimal schedule to be made for me. So the watch detects how active you are and it, it can make you a schedule based on that. When you go to more, you've got user, watch, phone finder, user guide, about and Q&A. So I'll quickly click on user and that's where you can mess around with your profile, units, life log activity. If you click on watch, you can actually update the watch software from here, which I'm not going to do at the moment. You've got your heart rate, target heart rate, GPS, auto functions, training face, achievement notification, elevation, navi, lapse, time display, and it just goes on and on. If I click on light, so auto light is off at the moment. I'm going to switch that on. So now in the dark, if I just raise my wrist, the light will automatically turn on. How long do you want it on for? Three seconds. I prefer that, but it's nice that you can choose what you want. Click send and it will send that information directly to the watch. Sending complete. So now the watch understands. Let's see that three seconds, shall we? Yeah, much better. You need that. In fact, I haven't done this yet, so let's switch off all the lights and show you how that looks in the dark. So I'm just going to raise my arm to show you. There you go. The light turns on for three seconds. My camera can't focus in the dark, but I'm sure you guys got an idea of how that works. Furthermore, you have a lot of tweaks and settings that you can play around with. Um, I really do like how you can customize the home homepage. So you can just drag any of these. So you can have up to five items on the main homepage. You can choose which ones they can be. I would get rid of the life log. 
and put my alarm settings on there and then you've got so many others that you can play with time sound vibration timer so click save and have a look at that so there's the alarm settings so you can click on alarm and you can go ahead and set up to four alarms so there is a lot to do on this watch jam-packed with lots of features uh, so far i have to say i am very impressed with it um, it is locked down right now. I would love to go for a jog. I would love to go for a run. I would love to put it to the test, put the GPS to the test. Because when you actually do a workout, you'll be able to view that workout with maps to see your route that you've took. If you want to see another video of me taking this out and about and giving you guys a more physical test and showing you all the sensors, how they actually work in real time, then hit that like button and let me know in the comments below. Also, feel free to fire your questions at me and I'll do my best to answer as soon as possible. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.